After the Battle of Waterloo, the Rothschilds had to have a way to protect the great power they just accumulated. They just become the greatest financial power on the planet right then. Is that lying, cheating, stealing? Again, might as well killed them all. Might as well killed everybody, right? That's our life force energy they manipulated. Their manipulation of Napoleon and Hitler and ultimately the entire world today has all been in the dark. There's no integrity. There's no being up front with that. I believe in being up front, telling the truth, giving people full disclosure, you know, things like that. Let me tell you, that stuff is all interconnected. Anytime we're involved with any abuse, it's all interconnected. Until we learn how to weed it all out and don't let any part of it exist in our system, it will grow and turn into a bigger and bigger bigger monster till we learn the truth. Are we ready to learn and make the difference? Are we ready to make a change? Well, after the Battle of Waterloo, the Rothschilds paid their attorneys to rewrite the rules, the laws, to help protect their investment. And they wrote the Rules of Legal Procedure in England which the USA basically adopted the same numeric code in 1822 as the FRCP, Federal Rules of Civil Procedure, from the systems we had just come from. Rules of Legal Procedure in England, FRCP in the USA. The Rothschilds claimed to be of Jewish descent, and the simple fact that they brought their Hebrew language into the legal codes is solid evidence of the Rothschilds' influence in England. And the adoption of the same rules is solid evidence of their influence in the United States and other countries. In 501, Levi Strauss punching out 501 genes. Why would he do that? Well, in Hebrew, 501 means made of God. Everybody would like to have genes that were made of God. 1040 means abject slavery and house of pleasure. 1099 means absolutely nothing. Hebrew is ancient Aramaic and is a numeric language. Well, 7701, that's the definition of a person. That's why in the IRS code, they wait until 7701 to define a person. Finally, 508 is listed under mandatory exceptions. It means God in action or is God. God doesn't pay taxes, and he doesn't ask for permission. It's listed under mandatory exceptions. It falls under canon law, God's law. And most of the 508s are owned and operated by the super wealthy. They wrote the law. The power of canon law is at the core of all law. Through experience, abusers learned they can conquer a people, but couldn't win the hearts of the people without support of the church. This is why they've used the church to place the crown on the head of the new king. This is why the English were all forced to be Catholic in early history of the Catholic Church. It's interesting. My father uncovered the 508 when the powers that be were coming after him in the 80s. He knew he would be a target because the power of the truth he was teaching. And he never hurt anyone, but was charged with practicing medicine without a license. And he won that case with the state. One of the two undercover state investigators who 
walked into his living room with concealed tape recorders. One had a breast tumor and walked out of his living room without the tumor. Still, they were being paid to set him up. He won that one, and the state investigator told the truth about her breast tumor in court, which is a matter of public record. When people hear charged, many think convicted. And when they heard it had something to do with a woman's breast tumor, that just gives too much room for minds to wander. He never touched her breasts, in case you wonder if that's why they came after him. He just showed her where to place her hands and help direct energy through her hands. He set a precedent when he won his case based on freedom of religion and the laying on of hands for the healing of the sick. Although the government has become more and more corrupt, so I don't suggest that anyone else try to prove this defense in court today even though he set a precedent. The fake news media initially put his mugshot up all over saying he'd been charged. And after he won, they never cleared his reputation. We know full well they act as PR firms for their owners, the parasitic elite abusers. Then they sent the IRS after him. The first year, they came up with figures out of thin air. And he decided, I'm just going to pay it. Good to get them off my back. The second year, they just doubled the figures out of thin air. If you haven't heard of how IRS agents have been trained to use mob tactics by now, this type of thing is considered common occurrence by those who know. And since he'd just given them all the money he had the first time, the second time, he didn't have the money to pay them off. He said, now I wish I had the money to fight him. They had him backed into a corner. 20 years is 10 years past the statute of limitations, but they had lied and cheated to get their foot back in the door again. And 20 years later, the last day of a federal lawsuit in a federal courtroom that had never been used as a courtroom before, they rigged it so he would fall. The rail that actually makes up the jurisdiction in the courtroom, the rail wasn't even attached to the floor. It's a perfect square. Everything outside of that is not within jurisdiction of the proceedings of the court. Just like an embassy is in a perfect square also. You have to understand jurisdiction. Because of a former very serious injury to his leg when he was young, it was a very common practice for him to put his weight on a rail that he was walking past. Well, once he put his weight on the rail, it just fell over. The jurisdiction was rent. He hit his head on the bench behind him, split his head open four inches. We still haven't seen one penny. But I won't say more about that right now, okay? But that's just a clue. And there were a lot of other red flags. This was during Bill Clinton's presidency, 1993 to 2001. There were a lot of attorneys, attorney generals, even judges senators, and lawmakers that were on cocaine while Bill Clinton was governor and president. If you haven't seen the anonymous video of Bill Clinton relating to all the mysterious deaths that have just occurred since he was in office as governor, let alone what happened while he was president, just YouTube anonymous Bill Clinton and be ready to see some serious amoral behavior. 1993 is when the IRS first broke the statute of limitations with my father. We now know they were tyrannically targeting natural doctors. Apparently, the orders came from the top down, meaning from the invisible government, and through the president, the IRS, and state agencies. 
Over 60 natural doctors have been killed in Florida in 2016. Some seem related to the discovery of nagalase and vaccines, which a lot of new science has now revealed to cause cancer. Many books have been written about natural doctors being targeted and killed since Rockefeller Foundation took over the global drug, health, and insurance empires. My father even included titles to some of these books within his book, knowing he would be a target. It's time to get real. If you haven't seen that anonymous video that's available on YouTube yet, I highly recommend you watch it during this intermission. The only warning is, it's sick.